Uh, it feels amazing because obviously it's been a long time coming and COVID has done some very terrible things in the world and so our problems were not big compared to most people's with COVID but we had to change a setting and things were delayed so it's amazing to be here with all the creators and the fans and finally be celebrating the movie. So special, so exciting. I just I can't wait for people to see it. It's just going to be absolutely wonderful. You can't say much, but can you say anything for our fans? Anything oh, at all? I would say that if you can believe it, it's even more thrilling than the other movies. That's what I would say. Honestly, I was on the edge of my seat from the moment I read the script until right now. And I just I can't wait for people to feel the same way, which is amazing. Yes. Wand, picking it up for the first time, I was literally shaking. Also, they give it to you in a briefcase. And I was literally like using it for one scene and then they're like, give it back to us. We need all the all the ones back. So I had to hand it to them. And did I want to steal it? Yes. Did I steal it? No. But do I still want to steal it? Yes. But stealing is bad, so I will not do that. Well, I like to think that there is a lot of uh, wonderfully familiar characters who evolve, reveal. There are new fantastic beasts. They're really fantastic. Some scary, some cute. Um, it, uh, there's an extraordinary heart at the centre of this film. It's a sort of broken heart. And uh, it reveals an awful lot about the, the empathy that, that Dumbledore builds on his, on his sort of wound, his, his regrets. And it culminates in an extraordinary battle that I think has a, a wonderful emotional uh, physicality at its heart. Do you know what? It, it always feels incredibly surreal and but particularly euphoric this time because the making of this movie during Covid uh, it's been so it was incredibly stressful and hugely enjoyable but there were moments when I wasn't even sure it would make it out into the world and so I'm thrilled that it has because I think it's a really cool movie. It's filled with the whimsy and the magic that I loved in the Potter film so hopefully you've um, done something cool. What's the secret to playing this really special super villain? Well it's a great script, it's in the story. Uh, well like all good villains they have a mission and this guy uh, he just wants to make the world a better place which obviously means that we don't agree on. Yeah. What's so special about Jude Law? Oh my gosh. He has a twinkle in his eye. He has the, the Dumbledore twinkle. I like talking to him. He's a family man. He's a nice, giving actor. And I think he's a delightful Dumbledore. And also, Mads Mikkelsen also has a twinkle in his eye and a delightful, scary, alluring Grindelwald. He's all the things. And I think he's going to be amazing in this movie. We're all here and we're having a blast. But yeah, it's really, it's really special to share it with the family. And um, I'm really excited for this movie. I think it's going to be really great. I think it's going to be the best one at all. A unique experience for me because I don't work much in television. And usually, just as you're getting to bond and get close with your cast and your director, it's over. So this is a really special thing. We've all grown up together and had children and shared so much. So going back to set is, is a kind of homecoming. Well, I can't believe I'm here. I've been waiting for this for three years. No, it's fantastic. I, you know, when I discovered this world, I, when I was told I was going to be in Crimes of Grindelwald, I had no idea what I was getting into. And now I can't, I can't do without it. I love it. Great it. I mean, how wonderful to be part of Harry Potter. I mean, it's a dream come true. Jude Law, Mads Mikkelsen, Eddie Redmayne. It's great. It's great.